Hi guys, so I do my informational book over volcanoes and my book is Volcano Rising by Elizabeth Rush and the illustrations are by Susan Swan. So I chose volcanoes because they're really cool. Students really love learning about volcanoes and also there's so many different experiments and concepts that need to be taught over volcanoes. And also this, I really like this book because of the way it was set up. So here's an example. On this page, there's like an introduction sentence over what this whole, these both of these pages are gonna be about. And then it goes into a bigger in-depth paragraph right there. So here's an example of the introduction. It says, gases and lava slowly sleep out into a creative eruption. So then in the paragraph, it talks more about creative eruptions and destructive eruptions and how the gases get there. So, rising gas pushes lava out of a volcano. In destructive eruptions, gases get trapped inside thick magma or are blocked by plugs in the vents. Pressure builds until lava, ash, and gases explode all at once like a soda from a shaking can. So just from those couple sentences, you can see how much information that they're going to learn just from these two pages about how volcanoes work. So for my concept about how to teach about volcanoes, I was going to look closely at how the gases work. And very cheap experiment that students can you do is taking a can of soda, shaking it up, and students will probably know what's going to happen. It's going to explode everywhere, and they're going to love making a mess. And But to go more in depth, you have the students relate how the soda can exploding relates to the volcano erupting and they're gonna have to do research and figure out what in the soda can makes it erupt and then they'll have to try to relate to that to a volcano which will cause some um, higher order thinking skills that the students will have to learn and um, then they'll can present over it their findings and do the scientific method and all that good stuff that they need to do in science class so this is a really good book and you should read it if you're going to talk about volcanoes.